lost a good friend a little less than two weeks ago, Alan Geshwood. We want to do something in his memory. Our friend Alan loved the best of everything. And when I say that, I don't mean that he loved country clubs and expensive suits and fancy cars. He loved people and things which are and were authentic. Fine whiskey with only two drops of water added. Bagels made the proper way. A correctly tuned piano. Good conversation. A New York style pizza. Rowing on the Tennessee River. A clever pun. Locally grown products classic movies, and a good cause. Alan Geshwin Esquire was a lawyer in the best sense of the word. He helped people. He helped clients he'd had for years and people he'd just met. He helped friends of friends who needed legal advice. He cared. Alan loved people. He was proud of his daughters. He adored Tina. He was a loyal friend. Alan, we miss you. Alan gave to me this book. And it's not like any other book. The Language and Materials of Music. A Treaty of Common Practice Harmony. This is a very specific style of harmony that brought us into the Baroque period, a very early early form of harmony, one that I, I use in my therapeutic practice today, <coughs> therapeutic music practices today. And I've made it through pieces of this book, but there's, <laughs> there's a, an awful lot here, you know, the genesis of the dominant chord. Jeez. It's, um, it's, it's pretty intense stuff. Um, but Alan was a music lover of all sorts and was very supportive of, of all kinds of musicians. And for him, I give thanks for helping me um, learn a little bit more about harmony. Not only that within music, but Alan always had a variety of people around him, um, served on many music boards locally, and um, I think. When I think of Alan, I think of that harmony, not only in this book, but the harmony he had in his life. I'm going to play for you on my flute, my Native American style flute, a song that I played for Alan and Tina on the evening of their wedding celebration. <laughs> 